In this video, we'll look at whether potassium phosphate, that's K3PO4, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So the first thing we need to figure out is the reaction, the neutralization reaction that produces this potassium phosphate. So if we have phosphoric acid plus potassium hydroxide, we have an acid in a base, neutralizes, we end up with a salt, the K3PO4, and water. It's a neutralization reaction. So once we have the reaction, we need to figure out the strength of the acid and the base. This table here can be really helpful in doing that. I recommend you actually memorize this. We're looking for phosphoric acid, and it's not listed as a strong acid. That means that it's a weak acid. For KOH, that's right here. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So now we know the strength of the acid and the base that produce this potassium phosphate. Since we know that we have a weak acid and a strong base, we can look at our rules here. And we see here, if we have a strong base and a weak acid, the pH will be greater than seven. We'll have an alkaline solution. So in answer to the question, whether K3PO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, when we have K3PO4 dissolved in water, we end up with a basic solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.